Evening everybody. Tuesday, isolation, day 26. Got up this morning, um, early again, not easy. Um, supposed to have a load more wine last night. Um, into work. Um, face masks. The future apparently. Excuse me. The government are now indicating, this is true fact, that uh, for social gatherings in the future, that we might all have to be compulsory wear face masks like that. I'm sorry, unless it's got like a straw built in the front of it. It ain't gonna happen. Never in a million years will this country will go for that. Um, social gatherings this country being going getting pissed in the man, don't they? Um, and it's weird, really, because whenever I've been on holiday and I see all these crazy Chinese bastards um, wandering around the place with these masks on, you just think, look at the state of them, you know, with these bloody masks on, the crazy bastards. And then that could be us coming to a town near you very soon. Watch this space. Um, another true story today on today's news. Um, the uh, Man United team doctor, um, look it up, it's true, is reporting that some of the players, bless them, the £137,000 a week average wage players, uh, are reporting various lockdown injuries, including burns from cooking, and um, burns from cooking, and dog bites, um, which is a bit odd, but anyway, so there are a few injuries reported. I was just thinking that if they had any Chinese players, in the squad, they might get a burn and a bite when they're trying to cook the dog. Um, another one here, true, this is true today. Sky News headline this Tom Tom, the Satnav Giants, have revealed, get this, there's been a significant drop in cars on the roads and motorways during the lockdown period. The only part they missed off, I suppose, is the uh, the spokesman's name, which must have been Captain Fucking Obvious. I mean, that is a headline on Sky News. Anyway, moving on. A lot of um, doing this lockdown, this craziest, crazy lockdown period. Um, a lot of photos doing the rounds of um, when we were all a bit younger. So Lewis, my son, stitched me up and sent to our um, Leeds group lots of pictures of me when I was a, a wee nipper and stuff. And, and to be honest with you, I don't. Uh, think I should look any different right now, any, any younger, uh, any older, sorry. Um, I don't look any younger. I don't, I don't think I look any older uh, in particular. So I'll give you an example. See, exactly the same. Here's another one. A few weeks ago I would have said, this is me doing a Philip Schofield impression. Uh, uh, probably has a whole different meaning right now, but here, here's me look. Gordon the Gopher, behind the Gordon the Gopher. Um, so again, you can see for yourself, I don't look any different. Um, certainly up there I'm not. So that leads me on miraculously onto a little poem I've done about getting old, because um, as you can see, I'm not getting any younger. This is getting old. I wake in the morning and attempt to leap out of bed. You see, I'm over 50 in my body and 21 in my head. So rather than leap, it's far more hit and miss, you see. Just like the three other times in the night when I get up for a pee. My bladder's now weak, I'm peeing so often. My biceps and six pack are starting to soften. So the least of my worries is getting out of bed. I've got more hair on my back than I have on my head. My shoulders are slumping, and my back's getting bent. And when I go to the fridge, I forgot why I went. I guess there's no point in worrying or making a fuss. But the day feels close that someone will give up their seat on a bus. Sit there an old timer, you can have my seat. So do I give him a slap or take the weight off my feet? My knees are getting stiffer if I try and go for a run. And trips to the theatre and movies are no longer fun because all the key moments I just tend to miss when I get up repeatedly to go for a piss. 
eyesight is failing, glasses on, glasses off. It's no laughing matter, so don't giggle or scoff. I can't uh, manage all I used to, although I still know how. If only I knew back then what I know right now. So I'll keep pushing forward to defy all these years and concentrate on shaving all the air in my ears. Cheers guys, happy lockdown. <laughs>